50 Cent loves to troll people. And so as all the drama is going on with Diddy and 50 and everything else, more drama brews as Stevie J now says he wants to fight 50 Cent. This is the part that made me laugh a little bit. In response to 50's Instagram post uh, where he echoed the allegations from Lil Rod's lawsuit saying that Stevie J and Diddy were having sex and all this other stuff, uh, Stevie J made his own uh, video uh, claiming that 50 is just salty about what's going on with his uh, baby mom, Daphne Joy. Uh, and he decides out of anger to challenge 50 to a fight. He said, let me beat the shit out of you on TV. Now, Stevie eventually deleted the post. The reason why this is interesting to me is because it speaks to a bigger point, right? I'm not mentioning it as gossip. I'm mentioning it as an interesting point. All this stuff stems from the Diddy allegations. And the allegations are like sex trafficking. The allegations are sexual assault. The allegations are some brutal, violent, dangerous stuff. And everybody's focused on sexuality. You don't see all these rappers running around saying, oh, my God, Diddy might be sex trafficking or, oh, my God, Diddy might be, you know, dealing with minors. Diddy might be, you know, if the allegations are true, Diddy's doing a lot of stuff that's problematic, dangerous, illegal, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But the rappers aren't outraged by that. The fans and the bloggers, they're not talking about that. They're talking about who has sex with who. They're talking about who's gay and who's not. That's all they seem to care about is who's gay and who's not. And it reminds you of how much, uh, particularly in the rap context, our masculinity, our sense of manhood, our sense of self is bound up in these very narrow heteropatriarchal ideas. Born liberated and fat empathetic world said it perfectly. The punchline is gay, not Diddy is a predator, right? It's not Diddy's gay, you know, um, people, the punchline line is, oh, Diddy's gay, right? Not Diddy's a predator. And again, these are both allegations. I'm not saying either are true. Y'all not going to sue me. But what I am saying is the ones we're obsessed with is not the predator part, but the gay part. So even Stevie J wanting to fight 50 Cent is part of the same thing. Stevie J isn't mad because his name is being tied up with people who are called sexual predators, that his name is being associated with people who are accused of sex trafficking and human trafficking with minors and all that stuff. He's upset that he might be a, a, alleged to have had sex with another man. Again, I don't know if it's true or if it's not true, but Stevie J's been accused of a lot of stuff in his day, and I've never seen Stevie J get this mad before. Almost never. But now he wants to fight 50 Cent. Now, let me be very clear. <laughs> Stevie J should not fight 50 Cent. 50 Cent done took nine shots or, or you know what I'm saying 50 Cent is a trained boxer. 50 Cent seems to have hands. You know, I ain't saying Stevie don't. I ain't saying that. But I'm just saying I don't know if deleting that Instagram post might have been a business decision <laughs> for Stevie J, if you get my point. And I like Stevie J uh as a TV character. I don't know him in real life. I, he's very problematic, uh, very, very problematic as a on, on, on the show, but I see him as an actor playing a, a role of a problematic person. I don't know if he's like that in real life. If he is, it's garbage. I just don't know. I don't know Stevie J. I've only met him once. He came on my show one time. Uh, I've only met 50 Cent a couple, maybe maybe once as well. You know, I got no issue with either, either of them dudes personally or interpersonally. But I do know that this whole fighting thing, this whole beef thing is just another example of hyper-masculinity and toxic masculinity, a, a kind of toxic masculinity that punishes and shames queer brothers. It's kind of toxic masculinity that glosses over the alleged crimes of predation, of being a predator, but that obsess about who's having sex with who among grown people and consensual people. And that's the part that to me is just weird. So yeah, 50 and 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 uh and Stevie J, they go and shoot the fade uh, allegedly. I don't see it happening. I'm every how many people are supposed to have a fight? How many times remember when Soldier Boy was supposed to fight? Uh he was he 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 was supposed to fight somebody in a boxing match. I know Chris Brown want, wanted to do I think Chris wanted to smoke, but whoever he said it to, I think didn't want it. You know, I, we just always hear about celebrity boxing matches you know fighting people and calling people if you want to fight somebody you fight them you don't go on instagram and make a post about it stevie j from what i could tell uh 
is making entertainment. And he said it. It's, it's, it's all entertainment. So let's take it as that and let's hope that there's no more violence, no more drama, and certainly uh, no bloodshed.